uh, and, and I feel like we're investing in some archaic uh, uh, designs, archaic technologies that frankly have, have proven that they can't meet the demands. And I, I haven't heard how we're going to address our, our dependency on China, our dependency on Russia. I haven't heard anything about new, next generation nuclear capabilities, alternative fuel cycles for those next generation uh, nuclear uh, uh, capabilities. Uh, and, and we're seeing relatively anemic uh, investments and increases in the investments for the, the actual sciences relative to some of these other uh, political platform issues that we've been discussing today. Um, so can you help me and alleviate some of these concerns in, in my constituents? How, how are we going to get pricing down uh, for our energy costs? How are we going to compete with, with Russia who has you know, developed 20 new nuclear reactors in the last uh, few years? They, they've now got $133 billion in back orders and, and what are we doing to, to, to invest in new technologies that actually allow us to recycle nuclear waste, recycle plutonium, so we can have alternative fuel cycles uh, in support of next generation nuclear capabilities? Because uh, frankly, right now, the sum of the parts don't add up. Uh, we, we don't have enough energy to meet the demand. And we continue to consume as a nation, but uh, fail to invest in, in, in capacity on the energy production side. So. Can you, can you please help mitigate this, this concern that I have and what's the long-term vision for this administration? Well, thank you for all those questions. <laughs> um, there are a lot of them. Uh, I wish I could take up every single one of them. Um, so let me just start big picture first um, because as you use, lose sleep over this, there are a lot of us that lose sleep over it too. Uh, especially how quickly things are changing. And what we're trying to do at the Department of Energy is to be smarter and more agile than we have ever been before. And so with this budget, uh, I believe that it is helping us be a new DOE, and I truly believe that, uh, that this is a new DOE because we are absolutely, can I say this, hell-bent on making sure that we can take the discovery science as quickly as possible to the applications and demonstration and then to deployment. And with the, the, uh, my infra the infrastructure bill that went through, uh, law that went through, it's really helping us, everyone see what the mission, what the mission is, but although the pathway is so that we can get further along. With regards to nuclear and fusion, you know, I could talk about those singularly. We are absolutely on board with this with regards to clean energy by nuclear as well as fusion. With the issue, uh, with the supply issues, we're working very diligently on making sure that we have enough of the uh, nuclear fuel to not only uh, keep our current nuclear uh, facilities going, but also for the future, and that also goes for security, what we need for uh, our security, uh, our security needs also, but also all the critical minerals. So even though I said this is a really phased transition from uh, these last few weeks, it isn't as if we've had our head in the sands on these for a long time. The Department of Energy has been working very hard. That said, because all that we do in the Office of Science is competitively uh, decided on who gets funding. It means that the best ideas, the new ideas that can transform the way we're going into energy and electricity, they are the ones that are being funded. They are the ones that are being funded. And now we have the capacity to move them further down the line to try to get to some of the solutions that we all have, but you in Southern California are particularly being hit by this, particularly in, in oil prices. So I guarantee you that every, every morning, uh, we have a huddle with the secretary, the leadership team, and these are all the issues that we talk about. The gas prices, what they are today, and what we're anguishing over this, and how we're going to make sure that we can transition uh, to achieve the administration's goals in the long run to be at net zero uh, carbon.